Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we are going to talk about the way we can extract data from Oracle Fusion applications. In this video, we will discuss all the possible ways by which we can get the data from SaaS applications. That data, that's our transactions data, that can be purchase order information, that can be AP invoices, GL and whatever information are there in Oracle Fusion applications. How we can extract or get data from Fusions to send any, anywhere over email or sending from any middleware application like OIC and all. So in this video, I will just discuss about the possible ways and in next slide or next videos, I will discuss about each and every tools that how we can use the tool, what is the benefits and everything. Now move to the next slide where we will discuss about the first and the most common tools to get data from Oracle Fusion SaaS applications. The first one is BI Publisher Report. That in BIP Publisher Report, we just have to write SQL queries to interact with the Oracle Fusion database tables. And just in BIP Report, we are adding layouts template to get the data in desired format. Either it can be PDF, Excel, CSV, text file, or any other. Another option we have OTPI report. It is same as that BI Publisher, but in BI Publishers, we have to write SQL queries. But in OTPI, we just have to drag and drop the columns or attributes of the subject areas related to by which we want to extract data. I will show you the sample file or sample SQL Solver 2. And yes, next we have SCM extracts. So all the transactions or data related to HCM or human capital management modules, we can use SCM extract to data, get data, bulk data efficiently. It can be employee information, it can be employee salary information and many more. Here you can see in the skins, like I am able to show you that this is the, the tools by which we are execute our SQL query in BI Publisher report. So here you can see this is BI Publisher report in Oracle Fusion applications where we are writing queries to get the data, the desired data from a specific tables. And then we are adding templates and all to display the data in efficient way. And you can see after writing the queries and all, we have the reporting tools. So that's that XML services where we are getting data. So here we created VIP report and that VIP report is giving us API invoices data. Same way we can use OTBI, but in OTBI, we don't need to write SQL queries to get data. In OTBI, we have different, different functional areas, subject areas. We are just selecting the subject areas to get the data based on that. We just have to select the columns and always based on the column, we are getting data. So that's the simple report created in OTBI. Here you can see we have invoices details. Now next, we have API based integrations. So with the help of API also, we can extract the data from Oracle Fusion SaaS applications. So in term of APIs or that the web services, we have REST services and we have SOAP web services. So using REST and SOAP, we can also get data from SaaS application. Always with the help of REST and SOAP, we can insert data or we can create transaction fusion applications too, but yes, REST and SOAP web services given us flexibilities to get data from SaaS applications. And obviously, when we want to get the data, we have to use get of REST API. You can see this is the REST API I used in Postman to get the purchase order data from Fusion applications. And you can see I use get method of purchase orders for receiving and it's returning us the purchase order details. And the same way we have SOAP web services. We can use SOAP web services to get the data from SaaS applications. Here you can see I passed that order numbers sold to legal entity. Based on that, it returns the purchase order details here in the response. Now coming to next, we have Oracle ERP cloud adapters. So when we are working with integrations, that Oracle integration middleware tool, Oracle integration having their predefined adapters that's known as Oracle ERP cloud adapters. That Oracle ERP cloud adapters having various operations, various methods to get the, or interact with Oracle Fusion applications. So here you can see in a skin what I added. With the help of Oracle ERP cloud adapter, we can use the operation as find purchase order by number. And we can get the data, purchase order data from Fusion applications. 
So all this three way that the reporting tool, either it can be VIP report, OTBI report, or it can be that SCM extract, we can get the data. Another we have the web services or API. So we can use REST, web, REST APIs or SOAP web services to extract the data from Fusion applications. Or in last, we have Oracle ERP cloud adapters available in OIC to extract the data from Oracle Fusion applications. Thank you so much everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe this channel and put your valuable comments so that I can, I can just have a recommendation, put comments, try to solve your queries. Thank you so much everyone for watching.